<coughs> Hi there. I come to you tonight from the ablution block of the Kimber Caravan Park. <coughs> I've come in here because it's um, too cold outside. So I've just put my tent up on a very cold, dark, desolate, sandy caravan park. Not flash at all. So today was a big day, which I'm sort of happy about that I pulled off. I did 147 k's today from Mini Par to Kimba. I don't know what day it is. I think it's day 18. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, day 18, Mini Par to Kimba. So <clears throat> I feel fine. I feel okay. Had a couple of nice experiences today with um, uh, some sort of retired folk. There's so many retired folk going around Australia and, you know, recreational vehicles and caravans and things like that. And they're always keen to <coughs> have a chat. So I just stopped somewhere and a um, really nice um, couple gave me some chocolate biscuits and had a chat. So that was nice. So lots, saw lots of beautiful farming country today. <clears throat> but I was pretty pretty glad the way I handled the 150 k's odd. I mean, it's a fully laden bike with all that water and all that food and all those clothes and tents and camping gear and whatever else. So, um, so I, I had some luck today also that <clears throat> the west south westerly came in this afternoon. So that that was a, that was a tail breeze, which is just extraordinary not to have headwinds all day. So lots of hills. Very hilly towards the end of it, very hilly. Uh, <clears throat> but we got through it okay. Again, requiring um, riding in the dark tonight, last 20 k's. People say, why, people ask me each day, why text, why are you riding in the dark? Why are you doing that? <clears throat> well, I don't have to do that, but up until, um, well, up until today, I've had headwinds all the time. So because of the headwinds, it, it um, curtailed my speed which didn't allow me to get any decent or not any big k's up per day. So <clears throat> I mean, I, I am hitting, pushing the pace on this trip, you know, pretty, pretty hard. I mean, some people take, you know, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, eight weeks to cross the, uh, the Nullarbor on this trip. And so far I've taken 19 days or 18 days. So I am pushing it. I think my average is just under 100 k's a day for the last... Um, 18 k's, I think that's about right. Anyway, so <clears throat> so I feel fine, that's fine. Um, but I'm used to riding at night now, and, and um, it actually can be quite nice. Um, the only issue with it really is not the trucks. The trucks, you just get off the road, you can hear them for miles. The issue is the cold. So <clears throat> sun goes down at 5.30. So the deal is by 4 o'clock, you start adding on the layers of clothing again. Five o'clock, you stop the bike, set it up for night mode, strobe lights on, headlights on, <clears throat> two or three extra coats of um, clothing and um, some really conservative riding in terms of getting off the road with the trucks. But that cold comes in, <clears throat> comes in so brutally, so quickly, it's, it's just doesn't cease to amaze me every day, just how quickly it comes in. So I pulled into Kimba, which is um, just a tiny little modest siding kind of town. Not many people here. And I went to Caravan Park, which I just say is just a sand-filled, cold, windy, unattractive kind of caravan park. So that's where I am. So I'm just about to have a shower and um, I'll cook some noodles or something and um, get into my sleeping bag with my four or five layers of clothing on. Tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow is my last big day, and as I line my tent tonight, I'll just I'll just decide how I'm going to manage it. There's 154 k's or something between Kimber and Port Augusta. Port Augusta is a significant waypoint, as I said on the earlier video. At Port Augusta, um, I turn southeast and working myself into Adelaide through the Clear Valley through the wine, the wine districts. That's about three, um, 300 k's or something, 280 k's, something. So I'm not concerned about that, <clears throat> that uh, leg, but tomorrow's leg is a big, uh, big leg. I don't know whether to break it up into 
and, and so it's 152 Ks. So break it up into uh, two days and have a uh, bush camp tomorrow night somewhere. There's no services between here and um, Port Augusta. I was talking to my friend Peter tonight on the phone. He did this ride last year <coughs> and I'm Nob is a sort of deserted uh, mining town of yesteryear. There's no services there and that's the only location which has got mill services except a few people living there. So it could be a bush camp tomorrow night at 80 or something and do the balance the next day and that would be that would be the big the big days finished as soon as I leave Port Augusta I'm in a much more relaxed sort of mode um, won't be doing big mileages and I'll just cruise over two or three days into Adelaide trip end but I have not I'm not there yet so I'm just tossing up how to manage tomorrow but today went well the bike's going perfectly the bikes I've had no technical issues with the bike at all before I finish this um, sort of series of this video log, I'll, <coughs> I'll do a um, series for the sort of bike people, bike, you know, people interested in bicycles and doing a trip like this and putting my, uh, <coughs> putting my views on equipment and uh, just how to manage a Nullarbor, Nullarbor ride. I, I think I've got it pretty, pretty right, but there's a, there's a lot of variables to sort of consider, but that will be a more appeal to the, um, you know, to the cyclist, the adventurous cyclist. Okay, I'm going to have a hot shower and crawl into my tent and um, cook some dinner and go to sleep. Good night.